my channel i'm officially back i know i'm inconsistent i'm already over it but um i am back with my first vlog and it's going to be getting my first tattoo we've had a change of outfits and everything due to the weather it's texas weather it just randomly started pouring hard after it was sunny so cope with me i would record driving over there but that's dangerous one number two i listen to music and we don't need no copyrights so see you in a bit so we're officially here this is the place <laughs> She went first to get the tattoo and she doesn't know we left her. <laughs> I'm always leaving her. But I'm so hungry so I had to get a snack and we're checking out this place that's right down the street called Fresco, I think it is. Yeah, it's called Fresco. So... Okay, so okay. this is the part where everything goes wrong. There's Keisha Lynn. So, okay, so on the way to the tattoo place, we realized the whole time that my AC wasn't blowing like really cold air. And we're thinking like, oh, hey, it's just really hot. Like maybe it's just not hitting us yet. But it's like a 45 minute drive from Kingsville to the tattoo place, right? So we're like, okay, so I'm stressing out the whole time, like, dude, it better be, like, antifreeze or coolant or some, like, something simple that I could just buy and fix it right then and there because it was too hot to be dealing with that. The thing was, it was raining and storming, right? So on the way back, we're literally, like, I don't mind heat. It's heat in a, comp like, in a small area. Like, I'm, like, semi-claustrophobic. So yeah the coolant wasn't it like none of those liquids nothing so i'm driving back to kingsville because i have to pick up my dogs and i'm trying to get back to san antonio because i'm so over kingsville at this point right and so i'm like okay so it's still not blowing cold air we stop at the mechanic and he tells me oh yeah it's a hundred bucks to run the the test on the ac or whatever run a couple tests or whatever and I'm like, okay, the problem isn't the hundred bucks. The problem is, is it going to be done today? Because I'm trying to get back to San Antonio. I'm so done with this. And he was like, yeah, obviously what I was already thinking in my head, like it obviously just depends on what the test says. So we decide, I'm like, I'm over, like I'm over this place. I'm over the city. Let's just drive back to San Antonio. I don't care if I'm dying of heat or if I get a heat stroke. I just felt bad for the dogs. Good news is like, it was rainy but at that point it had already stopped raining and the whole way it never rained again and i had my windows rolled down the whole time and it was actually starting to give off like excuse me like a cold little breeze while we were driving or whatever so it actually felt really nice but obviously an ac would have been nicer and i was stressing the whole ride like what could it possibly be like i'm not trying to spend uh 500 to a thousand dollars on this car right now so we finally make it to San Antonio like at 8, 8.30. I didn't know what you said. Anyways, we finally make it to San Antonio like at yeah, 8, 8.30. Yeah, we, like we got here at 8. No, we got, yeah, we, at 8 because we were supposed to get here at 8.30. But you were speeding, so. Okay, you're not supposed to say that. Anyways, so yeah we got here like at 8 30 mind you this is the night after so we already got my car and everything turns out it was a thermostat and i still the guy was trying to charge me 400 dollars for it and i'm like dude like 
Life is so expensive. And then he brought it down, so I only paid like 300 but still like, I mean, I was still trying to pay it. I just needed that AC to work. But anyways, yeah, now my AC works. So sorry for the little amount of vlogging I could actually do because of the circumstances. I was literally not about to record myself dripping in sweat, riding in my car, and then she, I mean, you didn't fall asleep this much this time. Just I only like, close my eyes like, like I was answer. sleeping. I always answer her whenever she talks to me, so I'm not fully asleep. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, the meaning behind the tattoo, um, we got the crown and then right underneath orchids, so orchid flowers. So the crown represents my grandma that passed away. Her name was Consuelo Martinez Reina, or she says it was written backwards, Consuelo Reina Martinez. Those are her two last names from her mm -hmm. parents, Reina's mm -hmm. from her mom's side and Martinez from her dad. So we would always call her La Reina and that's what the crown represents for the queen. And then she was very into like roses and orchids and gardening and flowers and all that. So orchids were like the perfect fit because that's literally like the last few plants she would buy just mm -hmm. hell of orchids, like all kinds, colors and types. And desert roses. So we got the orchids right underneath. So it's a very meaningful tattoo. And that I kind of want to get another one, but I kind of don't because of the pain that I went through through that one. For my first tattoo, I put it on my rib cage, and whenever it's on the paper, it looks small, but it's big, like, and that you shit just hurt. Do my <laughs> it just hurt. Okay, so the part that hurt wasn't like the sides, like my stomach part and the back part. Like when it was touched the back, it wouldn't hurt. What would hurt was whenever it would touch like my rib cage, and that's whenever I would feel like. <sighs> Like, this shit stings. Like, I don't know if I could. I mean, I didn't cry or anything, and I didn't move. It was only the outline. I just, For like, me, it was only, like, the like the outline, but You know when, like, even. you clench your teeth? Like, you're just, like, that's how I was every time it I hurt. I almost fell asleep. And then she was laughing at me while I was getting my tattoo. Like, that's fucked up. But, yeah, I'm probably going to get one. Probably not soon. A couple years from now, maybe. My eyelash keeps coming off. But, yep, I'm ready to take this makeup off. It already looks gross because I've had it on for so long. And we've done so much sober. Look, this is hers. Oh, put, sit up right. Turn around like that or what? Yeah, this is it right there. And then her initials, CM. All right, guys, and that was it for my first and hopefully the worst one because it should only get better from here, block. Bye.